uh, hello again. How to do it? How to do the shape? The shape I, I want to have exactly my way. So uh, first, I have to take this edge and uh, duplicate the edge of it. Yeah. So I have edge. And if I turn the, this edge, the point controls of this edge, this only small amount of edge points, and I can rebuild it to get more. Let's say 12. That's what I needed. Yeah. Now I've got more points. Uh, for your information, I'm working with this uh, shape. Uh, with copy, I copied this shape. Yeah, this shape. So I, I've got this point here. Yeah. So now I am going to top view and got the same situation. We've got these points. I can make it. Bigger. I, may, I can resize it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's say I'm going to want to go uh, with these points outside. Now I want to go with these points. Actually, I don't need that part of it. I just want to cut this uh, this curve here in this point. Yeah. So I've got points only on this side. So in the same here, I. Uh, move these points uh, outside the object Connect these points too. Using look look. I'm still using the center point as a, a, co a Control point of the object Okay, and this point these points I will use I will put somewhere outside like that Because I don't need them All right, I've got shape like this this shape goes goes down because of the uh, I select the objects to hold, I have to flood them down using this uh, modificator using uh, Z or Z axis like this and then at the end of this <coughs> at the end of this uh, curve I need to have uh, I need to have a, a arch. Sorry, I need just to correct the points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need arch. Yeah. Which which the arch will tell me what what gonna be the shape of the my uh, my cutting area yeah so I will just make a arch so let's say arch gonna start here and gonna be like this Look. Mm -hmm. yeah and what to do now and now I will do sweep one rail rail and cross section see see what what's going on this is the shape I already want to use yeah so I need to do uh, I need to just rotate the shape to place it exactly where I want it so let's rotate a little bit okay in this place yes it may be a little bit too f uh, too too far like that is okay it's great it's quite interesting right now but I need this uh, surface to go to to cross with this surface yeah so I need to extend this uh, surface a little bit this uh, I can I can do it with extend untrimmed surface look you see I just need to uh, uh, write uh, the proper factor, which is, for example, 10, 20. See? 
Now I can cut it with this using trim. And then again here. Is it nicer? Much, so, much softer, yes? And much better. So this is how, how you can make, make, cut it. You've got now the separate shapes, separate surfaces, but you can select them and join them together. Yeah? And the, the, the general idea of the cutting is, that's what we have last time with the catamaran, we've done it, yes? Or not? No, doesn't matter, we'll do it, I'll not, not, not today. Uh, basic idea is to make kind of a surface shape using uh, curves. Look, I've done the curves and then out of the curves I make the shape. This is rail, this is cross section. And it gives me surface I can use as a cutter. I can put anything here. Look, <coughs> I'll make the solid box right now and center it in the middle of the <coughs> in the middle of the of the surface and I can use this as a cutter look yes and and uh, the same on the other uh, on the other side yeah see this gives me very advanced surface is it is is it all right for you? I know that this is too many steps at the beginning. You can I will just make the films right now and put them on the website. Okay, so you follow the films, so you will get uh, the idea how to make it. Okay, because we, we don't have much time to uh, to do it on our lessons, but I want you to be in a very advanced way because this is quite. Uh, quite interesting how simple and quick you can make the shapes. So now I expect that on the next week you will, uh, uh, you will bring your 